I am at the trailhead to Merrick. There's the sign behind me. The entrance and trail begins just next to the sign and I am about to head towards the top. It is an 875 metre ascent. It's going to take between four and five hours and the round trip is 13 kilometres, which is eight miles. It also turns out to be the highest peak in southern Scotland. So I am going to give it a go, see how hard it is. If you would like to join me, then make sure you got your hiking boots ready and let's get going. hear a waterfall down there and this trail is similar to the ones that I've been following elsewhere whilst I've been here in Scotland there's so much water about but the trail has turned into a little makeshift stream so you got to be careful how you step in otherwise you end up with a wet foot I wonder if we'll get closer to that waterfall over on the right side there the answer is yes, although I have diverted off about 20-30 feet just to get a better glimpse of this incredible waterfall. first part of this hike is definitely very rocky you have to really be careful with your feet make sure you don't lose your balance especially if it's wet and the rocks are a little bit slippery uh, but I'll tell you a little bit more about the Merrick when we get on some better ground but for now what I thought I would do with this video is not put any music in it just let the sights and sounds of mother nature be the soundtrack for this video there is a little sign here, Merrick Climb, please use high path. And this is what I was talking about in terms of the sights and the sounds doing the work. Let me just give you a little bit of information on the day. So the temperature is, I would say around 12, 13 degrees. It's quite mild for hiking actually just wearing a jumper today got my waterproofs on because the forecast says that there could be showers at some point this afternoon so I'm not taking any chances also let me tell you about the timings of today as I navigate my way through this boulder infested trackway so I started the hike at about quarter past two and the sun sets just before seven so i have given myself about four hours and three quarters to complete the hike and the guidance said between four and five so today i probably won't be stopping as much as i usually would in order to take photographs and videos because i do not want to be at the top any later than 5 pm and then that will give me two hours to get down which hopefully will be plenty enough it's always quicker coming down than it is going up but so far I really like it the trail continues in that direction I've got a feeling one of those peaks up ahead may very well be Merrick I don't think it's the one on the left but it may be the one on the right we will see okay wet foot just had to get across this little section somehow nearly made it pretty tough, tougher than it looks. You have to kind of step over on those logs, which of course turn as you're trying to step across. Okay, I'm just heading downhill a little bit now and I can see a building ahead of me. I'm gonna go and check that out. I'm about, I would say a mile into the hike now and there looks to be 
a bothy in front of me there. Now looking at my map, that is the Kilsharg bothy. Essentially a disused, abandoned house that you can stay in if you're camping out here in the wild or if you need any shelter. I might need some shelter if I don't make it back to the car park in time. A nice seat. Let's see if there's anyone inside. Maybe someone's already set up for the night. Hello? Nope. But look at that. Wouldn't that be cool to stay out here one night? We've got some chairs. It has got a roof. That's the main thing when you're considering where to stay. An old bricked up fireplace. Let's have a look to see what's in the next room here. Not very much. Some people have abandoned some junk in here, it looks like. Okay, well, let's head back out and continue the trek. I love these little places that you find in the middle of the woods. Just incredible. So, the first part of this hike was pretty steep and I've just walked for like 20 minutes and it's been fairly flat. So I've got a feeling as we go up through the forest now, things are gonna turn a lot steeper. Right, let's go this way. So that was quite close. I started walking that side of the bothy and something didn't feel right. The path kind of just turned a bit wild. And I came back here just to make sure I was on the right track and I've seen another path now that starts going uphill. So. This looks much more defined. I'm pretty certain this is the proper path I should be following. So let's go ahead and follow it. Heading into the haunted woods, maybe. Edible or not edible? That is the question. I would not like to find out either way. Just taking a breather making my way through this spooky forest and it is definitely getting steep now. Looks like we're leaving the forest zone behind. We are out of the woods and heading for the mountain. I have a wet foot. I've got my waterproofs just in case, but I haven't seen any rain yet. I've also got my DEET spray on just in case the midges were out, but I haven't seen any of those either. You get to a certain altitude and they don't tend to come this high. So I don't think I'll be seeing any for the time being, but look at that behind me, absolutely stunning at the moment. That's kind of where I've come from down there. The foresty section beyond that valley is where I started, way, way down. I've walked through the woods and now I'm coming up this little gravel road or pathway. And I was right when I got to the boffy and said it was going to get steeper. It definitely has. It is now super steep. And it's killing my legs, I'll be honest. I am very pleased to say that I have arrived at the peak. You can see the marker behind me there of rubble and stones just piled up. The only problem is, it's the wrong peak. <laughs> but don't worry, it's all part of the plan. The actual peak is behind me. I've been going now for two hours and this is a peak called Ben Yellery. It's one that you pass on the way to Merrick. And so, let me show you what I've got to do now. I've got to follow this ridge along and up to the peak over there. Probably gonna take another half an hour, I would say. Just before I leave Ben Yellery, 
just in case it's cloudy when I get to the top of Merrick. Here are some fabulous views of the surrounding area. Look at those locks down there. I sincerely hope that it is not clouded up when we get up there because we're going to get even better views. But this is just stunning. Currently just going along the ridge I am on the downward section and then we'll be hitting the final ascent towards the peak of Merrick. But I thought I would just say that whenever I do a hiking video in Scotland I feel like I should talk about the way mountains are categorised in Scotland. There are Munros, Corbett's, Graham's, Donald's and Marilyn's. I am thinking very carefully about next time I'm in Scotland making a video about the categorization because it is quite fascinating. Just for information Merrick is categorized as a Corbett. It's a bit of a mystery how these granite boulders came to rest this high up on the mountain since there are no granite cliffs from where they could have broken off from. And up there Getting close to it now is the trig point. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be so close to the peak of Merrick. I am going to walk over there now and touch that trig point. It is a mountain climb that has been very tough, I can tell you. And the views are stunning. I'll show you some of those in just a second, but let me tell you, it's getting a bit colder up here. One, because it's later in the day now, it is, let's have a look, it is, yeah, five to five. So it has taken me just under three hours to get up, about two hours 45. The mountain that I'm on top of, Merrick, is 843 meters, 2,766 feet. And on a really clear, super clear day, you can see the Isle of Man over in the sea there. You can see Northern Ireland somewhere over there as well. And on a super, super clear day, you can see the peak or make out the peak of Snowdon 144 miles away. But as I said, I am right now about to walk over and touch that trick point. I'm exhausted, but I am again, really, really excited. Not just because I'm here, but because the weather's half decent. It is a bit cloudy and stormy as I look around now, but this is the first mountain that I've climbed in Scotland where I've actually had half decent views at the top. And what am I saying, half decent? Let me show you what I can see. Look at that. What a superb valley. You can see some more peaks very close by. Just miles and miles of incredible countryside. It is the Galloway Forest Park, of course, and it is starting to cloud over just as I'm talking to you. I've got a feeling I've got a blast of bad weather coming through and then it should clear. I hope it doesn't rain. I may waterproof up just in case. I don't want to get wet, but you can see now suddenly everything's gone dull and dark and I am in the clouds. Uh, I need to remember which way I came up because as you can see, it is a mysterious blanket of whiteness now. It's quarter past five now, and the sun sets at seven. That gives me an hour and 45 to get down. It's doable, but I'm gonna to have to walk briskly. I do not wanna be walking down in the dark, so I'm gonna call it a day with the video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed watching the hike as much as I've enjoyed doing it. Tomorrow I am back on the Southwest Coastal 300 heading towards Dumfries. So please join me for that one. It's going to be another great day in Scotland. But for now, good night and I'll see you in the next video.